Do you want to know the 20 most important terms an affiliate marketer should know? Stay tuned in this video, I will tell you those terms. Hello YouTube, this is Austin, and I hope you're doing well because I'm better than I've ever been classic. And welcome to my channel where I discuss affiliate marketing, passive income, and making money online. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to learn tips and tricks in affiliate marketing. Today we are going to learn the 20 most important affiliate marketing terms that you need to know. I'm also going to tell you a little bit about why those terms are important and how they can help you find the success that you're looking for. So let's get started. All right, so before we get started, let's talk about the question of the day. Uh, what are the affiliate marketing terms that you wish you knew before you got started in affiliate marketing? Make sure that you comment below. I will respond to every single comment. Turn number one, affiliate link. And what this is, is the link that you get from the advertiser to promote the product. And this link is important because it will have your affiliate ID or it'll link your, your account so that if somebody buys a product, you'll get the commission, you'll get recognition for making that sell. So you wanna make sure that you know what the affiliate link is, how to get it, and, and where you can place it, where you cannot place it. So that's number one, affiliate link. Number two, click-through rate. And this is very, very important. And one thing that you're gonna notice about these terms that I'm going to recommend is there a lot, a lot of them are analytical. Uh, analytics is probably the hidden secret for affiliate marketing. If you know your numbers, you know your successes. Consequently, if you don't know your numbers, you don't know your, your successes, and you probably aren't doing as well as you should be. Anyway, let's get back. Uh, all right, so click-through rate. The click-through rate is the percent of clicks over impressions. And I'll talk about impressions a little bit further down the line, but click-through rate is important in, let's say, YouTube videos. It's important if you have a blog and your website. It's important in email marketing. So regardless of the the, the way that you are using your links and, and your your doing your affiliate commission, click-through rate is going to be one of the most important rates or numbers that you need to know. So if someone clicks your link, someone, let's say, on this YouTube video, let's say you saw the, the thumbnail, you saw the title, you thought this was interesting, you clicked on my, my, my thumbnail or my link, my click-through rate has increased. Consequently, if someone sees my YouTube video and they think, they think now I'll pass, my click-through rate decreases. If you have a low click-through rate, you are not going to be successful, most likely, as someone that has a high click-through rate. Now, obviously, other things are involved in that, but you wanna make sure your click-through rate is as high as possible because that is the first time someone is going to see you. And that, again, can be applied to YouTube videos, email marketing, or even getting found in the search engine. So click-through rate, very, very important. Next is commission. Commission is, uh, it can be a dollar amount or it can be percent. It, it is the amount that you can be paid for making a sale. So, for example, Amazon has a commission rate of 4 and 10%. Basically, what that means is depending on the product's category, you can receive anywhere between 4% and 10% for selling a product. Now, again, as I mentioned, it can either be a percent or it can be a dollar amount. It really all depends on, on the company. It depends on the, the, the advertiser. For example, um, Bluehost has a, I believe it's a set flat, Blue rate has a flat rate of, uh, a begin I believe it begins at $65. Um, that can obviously change. So, um, quick uh, commission, very, very important. Next is conversion rate. So, first we talked about um, click-through rate, basically that that's uh, your visibility and how many times people click or, or check out your, your content based on impressions. Conversion rate is actually going to be the amount of people that click on a affiliate link and convert into a sale. So obviously with this, you want this as high as possible because the, the higher your conversion rate, the more sales, the more commission, the more money that you're making. So you wanna definitely have an idea of your conversion rate uh, and you wanna make sure that you are balancing your high conversions versus making sales because even though someone clicks on a link, they may not purchase your product and you wanna make sure that you have an understanding of how all of that works. Uh, so conversion rate, again, very, very important. The next term that is very important is called cookies. And I'm actually gonna talk a little bit about uh, affiliate links and cookies in a future video. But to get an idea, cookies are basically a piece of tracking code that goes along with your affiliate link and it stays tied to that customer and tied to that link for a certain period of time. So for example, and I'm gonna use Amazon again, 
with Amazon, they have a 24 hour cookie window. And basically what that means is your affiliate link stays with that customer, it stays good for 24 hours. So a customer has 24 hours to make a purchase using your affiliate link. After that 24 hours, the cookie expires or dies, however you wanna look at it, and you no longer qualify for affiliate commission. So it's important to understand what the cookie window is for every uh, affiliate program that you sign up for. Again, Amazon's 24 hours. There are some that are 90 days. Some have lifetime cookie windows. It really all depends on the, the, uh, the, the advertiser. The, the next six or seven are all going to be paid commission or paid advertising focus. So I'm not gonna spend a lot of time. I just want you to be aware. Uh, so when you see these terms, you'll have an idea of what they are. So the first one is CPA. That, be, that basically means cost per acquisition. Cost per acquisition, basically what it costs to acquire a customer. The next is cost per click. Again, um, very similar to cost per acquisition, but it's the amount of money that you spend for each click. Next is cost per lead, followed by cost per 1,000 impressions. So for every 1,000 impressions, how much did it actually cost? Usually it's in a cent amount, so like 98 cents. If it gets over a dollar, that gets to kind of be a little bit expensive. But again, it depends on your market and your niche. Next is cost per sale, followed by cost per view. So these are all, they all start with CP, and usually um, they have something to do with paid advertising. Again, it really all depends on your market and your niche, but these terms will, will pop up and will be discussed frequently. So you wanna make sure that you have a general idea of these terms. They all start with CP, C for cost. Next is disclosure. Now this is a bit of information that you need to include wherever you have your affiliate link. So if, you're, if you have a blog, what you wanna do is make sure you have an affiliate disclosure somewhere on your blog, letting your readers know that you are an affiliate and you're recommending a product and you can receive an affiliate commission. If you watch any of my videos, you'll hear me say, um, product X, I'm, a, I'm an affiliate for product X, so if you do purchase it, I can receive some bit of commission uh, based on your purchase. So you'll hear me say some of those things, you'll hear other YouTubers say, say those things. Um, a lot of YouTubers actually put their affiliate disclosure in their description. Uh, also check for that as well. But failure to include your disclosure can result in fines, being kicked out of an affiliate program. Amazon is real strict about this. You can be fined, you can lose money, you can actually be thrown in jail. So you wanna make sure that as an affiliate, you have your affiliate disclosure somewhere on your website that is easily accessible and visible. Next is domain authority. And domain authority can actually apply to both YouTube videos as well as websites. And basically domain authority means how strong your website or YouTube channel is when compared to others in the same market. For example, uh, if I was trying to get into the sports re reporting field or niche, um, the, the high domain authority would be ESPN. So it would be very difficult to compete directly with them on a certain topic or category. For example, if I wanted to write about ESPN, most likely, e uh, excuse me, if I wanted to write about the NBA, most likely the ESPN is gonna rank very high on a domain authority and I'm going to be very low. Now, the cool, thing with domain of, uh, the cool thing with domain authority is that it is not set in stone. There is some fluidity with it. Uh, someone that just starts out can eventually earn higher domain authority, but they have to put in work as far as quality content, a lot of content, and consistent content. And that, that's true for YouTube, uh, blog, social media, all of that. So you wanna make sure that you go in with a plan to develop your domain authority. Uh, number nine is keyword research. And this is very, very important. Keyword research is basically finding out what your customers are asking or what your customers are searching for. One of the issues that new affiliate marketers run into is they want to create content about what their problems are or what their needs are. When in reality, your needs may be very small in comparison to the needs of the entire niche or niche. I saw a video earlier today where it was a, a content creator would, would receive emails about how someone wanted, wanted them to create a YouTube video about how to add Pokemon to, uh, let's say, ScreenFlow. When in reality, that's going to be a very small number of people versus the large audience. So what that content creator did was actually create a video on how to add images to ScreenFlow. And then they put in the description like Pokemon or whatever else. So you want to make sure that you are creating content based on what the masses want to see and hear versus uh, something that you want to 
uh, create. Next is niche, niche or niche. I'll say both throughout the course of every single video. Um, that is the field, industry, or market that you are going to create content in. The three biggest, four biggest niches or niches is health, wealth, relationships, and technology. Um, there are thousands of other niches out there. You can find niches in baby clothes and and um, we'll say Sharpie pens. But the most common type, the the, the, the ones that are, the, the content that's created the most is health, wealth, relationships, and technology. Because we as humans have a need in those four areas, a constant need for, for those four things. So you'll see a lot of content created about those areas. However, um, chewing gum could be a niche. Continue on, continuing on, landing page, another very important keyword term for affiliate marketers. This is a page that sits in between your content and the uh, affiliate link that you use to capture your customer's email address. Now, if you know anything about me, you know that I preach email marketing. Email marketing actually converts at a much higher rate than any other type of marketing. So if you can start an email marketing list you want to do that today. You want to do that yesterday, but today will work as well also. So one of the things that you'll need to create when you are creating an email marketing campaign is uh, create a landing page. That landing page needs to be simple, clean, and direct your customer to take an action. That action will be to add their email address and click submit. After they click submit, it goes to a thank you page where they can go to their, their affiliate link or go to the product that they want. But it's very important for you as a new affiliate marketer to create a landing page. That's why it's on this list. Next is payout. That's the amount of money that you can receive as an affiliate marketer for recommending a product or service. So we, we talked about we talked about affiliate link, we talked about commission, and we talked about cookies. The final aspect of that is the payout. That's the money that you get for recommending a product or service. Now the interesting thing with payouts is that they don't happen right away usually. Payouts for affiliate commission usually happen, I would say 30 to 60 days and maybe even 90 days after the sale. The reason for that is the company wants to verify that you don't work or live or have any relationship to the person that purchased the product. They're also waiting to make sure that no return happens, so you have to wait a little while. Next is return on investment. And basically what return on investment means is the, the money that you receive on the back end for the work that you put in up front. And that work can be a paid advertisement, it can be creating YouTube videos, it can be a combination of both. You wanna make sure that you you're, you have a high return on investment or else it might not be worth your time. Uh, ideally, you wanna return on investment if you're calculating it somewhere over one um, or close to one. The higher, the, the, the further away from zero, the higher, to, the closer to one, the better. Um, and again, it all depends on how you calculate it, but you wanna make sure that your return on investment is positive and not negative or else you are going to uh, realize that you are wasting your time and wasting your money. Next is search engine optimization. And again, these are the 20 most important terms that you need to know as an affiliate marketer. Before I, get, I, keep, before I continue on, make sure that you like, subscribe, and ring the bell if this video is helping you out in any way. Also, I want you to make sure to comment down below, um, answer the question of the day. So don't, don't forget to do those things. Anyway, continuing on, search engine optimization. And basically what that is, is you are creating content so that your content shows up in the search results. That means uh, using keywords, using tags if you're using YouTube videos, making sure that you're using keyword phrases without stuffing, um, do what's called keyword stuffing. So you wanna make sure that you are creating content so that it shows up in the search engine. That's called search engine optimization. Next is split testing, and this is number 15. Split testing is basically creating uh, alternate, alternate types of content to see which one performs better. For example, if you are creating a landing page for email marketing, you may create two different versions and test them to see which one generates more email addresses and more clicks and more calls to action. You may want to do that so that you can see, uh, so that you can actually improve your conversions going forward. Split testing is very, very important and it's something that you should be doing on and off to just make sure that you are optimizing your success. Next, and this is number 16, is called web hosting. Web hosting is basically storage for your, uh, your, your website. So all of the content of your website goes to a web host. Uh, that includes your, your web pages, if you have 
any um, videos, any audio, all of that stuff is stored in basically a hard drive that is accessible by other members of the internet community. Um, for example, I recommend Bluehost. Bluehost is a web hosting provider. Uh, basically, you, what you do is, and I say basically a lot, what you do is you create content, that content is stored on the web host, and people go to that web host to access that information. Uh, so, the next one, number 17, is advertiser. Advertising or advertiser is the company that you're working with in order to provide or recommend a product or service. For example, the largest advertiser that is out there is Amazon Associates. Now, there are tons of different advertisers out there. You're actually considered, the content creator is considered the publisher um, and the company that you're working with and working for indirectly is the advertiser. All right, so next is affiliate program. Uh, this is the various, type, various types of programs that you can use to promote products and services. Amazon Associates is the largest program. There's also ClickBank. There's also ClickBank. There's also Flex Offers. There's another uh, a number of affiliate programs that are out there. Next is Impression, and this is number 19. Impression is the every time your content is seen. Uh, going back to the YouTube example, every time someone sees my my thumbnail or my my title that's an impression you want to make sure that you have a high click-through rate so you want to make sure that you have a, a a great thumbnail and a great title so that people click on your link and you can have a high click-through rate but anytime someone sees you and this can go for a blog post this some youtube videos podcast you can even say as well is an impression and the final thing that we're going to spend just a few minutes on is paid search and paid search is basically you're paying to kind of get in, in front of a target market now you can do paid search through google ads you can do paid search through facebook twitter youtube which is actually google there are a number of places that you can do paid search so that you can kind of skip the line uh, with regard to like uh, search engine optimization and all of those things so that you can get in front of the target market you can ensure that the the people that will be interested in the product will see your your um your impression we'll say so that's it for the 20 most important affiliate terms make sure that you like subscribe ring the bell if you have not already done so also i'm going to leave a few links in the description one of the links that i want you to click on is for a free infographic now this infographic which i just created recently will show you step by step how affiliate marketing works it shows you the role of the the customer the role of the publisher and the role of the advertiser so make sure you click the link the only thing that i require is your email address so you click the link enter your email address and then you'll get access to this infographic it's a very it's a very straightforward infographic that you can show other people to help help them understand how affiliate marketing works it's a cool piece of, of graphic that i just created so that's number one number two is a a, a, a link to a webinar that will help you learn a little bit more about affiliate marketing. I know that I've given you a ton of helpful content, but if you go to this free webinar and you go through and you just listen and watch, you will learn a ton more about how to get better at affiliate marketing. You want to skip some of the issues, the trials and tribulations that I ran into, and you want to sit and watch this webinar. The next link I'm going to leave in the description will be to Project 24. Now, Project 24 is a blogging course it's a 60 step course so help you get started blogging the right way they teach a very specific set of steps 60 of them in fact so that you can start off blogging and make money as soon as possible now the 24 and project 24 stands for replacing your full-time income with passive income within 24 months now obviously no business venture is guaranteed but if you follow these steps you will be put in a good position to be successful uh, make sure that if you uh, please know that if you click these links and you continue on they are affiliate link so I can and do receive a bit of commission that was commission and disclosure and affiliate links all in three sentences anyway uh, once again this is Alston and I am better than I've ever been make sure that you uh, like subscribe and ring the bell thank you and have a great day